And we're back. So welcome to lecture eight. Uh, this is going to be a main focus on dynamic processing, specifically compression on a vocal or compression on drums. But what we're going to do is just work off the processing session as a whole. So we're going to just have one session for all the different types of processing, just so you don't have to keep opening up different sessions and all that kind of stuff. So that being said, let's just jump on it. So we have a vocal, okay? So I loaded a compressor on here. I'm just going to use it 1176. And what we need to notice here is that there's not... Um, a threshold on here. There's nothing that says threshold. So this means it's a fixed threshold compressor. Okay. And this is going to be our input gain. And this is going to be our output gain. And this is the attack. And this is the release. So let me just solo the vocal and then press play. I, can someone tell and we notice this needle is not moving. Oh, it moves a little bit. The reasoning behind that. We can tell that the needle itself is not moving uh, only a little bit. The reasoning behind that is that there's just not enough signal going across that threshold. So that means we need to push the input gain up. I, can someone tell me all of there we go. And that's that simple. Now what we need to do is sort of play around with the attack times and the release times to make that needle sort of jump with the music. Um, there are a lot of technical explanations of why compressors work the way that they do. So it should be stated that how much compression you use doesn't actually matter, okay? It is going to have an effect on the overall sound. However, if you like the sound of it, start messing with it, okay? And my rule for compression, uh, because things tend to be compressed a lot or not at all, um, and everywhere in between, right? So my rule for sort of compressing things is just if the needle itself is bouncing around with the music, then we're in good shape, okay? That's kind of where I start. And we'll break this down a little bit more um, in level two. To that, we'll see you on the next one.